Well, hi, and thanks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons Air Gun Channel. So you're in the market for a quality air gun. You're looking for something that's going to be a one-time purchase. You want to cry once and buy once, as they say. Um, you need to make sure that you're buying a quality product that's going to last you the rest of your lifetime and then some. Well, then you owe it to yourself to check out the lineup of Viral Air Guns. Now, I don't have every one of their rifles here to show you, but I've got a few of their more popular models, and I thought maybe you'd enjoy getting a look at these things and, and checking them out. Those of you who are not necessarily in the market for an air gun, you might find some fun in this video, too, just getting to check out a couple of their uh, the finer air guns that are available out there. So at any rate, um, the way I've arranged these is according to their power output. Uh, I start from, I'm going to start from lowest to highest as far as power goes. So there should be an air gun in here for just about everybody's purposes. Um, so it should be fun. Let's take a look. We'll begin with the uh, this little guy. This is the HW Model 30S, or in this case it's a Beeman Model R7. Of all the guns in this lineup, this is the one I grab most often. I absolutely love this little rifle. This is my fun gun. This shoots targets. Uh, wonderfully out to 25 yards it's a great little target gun it's a great little plinking gun it's easy to cock it's easy to shoot it doesn't weigh much at all it's just this is my i can't say favorite but i can say one of my favorites and i can say this is the one i always pick up when i just want to have a good time so this is a beam model r7 hw model 30s they're essentially the same gun with a couple of cosmetic differences why don't you take a closer look and i'll give you some specs on it so this gun is in 177 caliber. It's uh, rated uh, by Pyramid Air at 700 feet per second. Now I put a high output Vortec kit in my gun and I got 724 feet per second with an 8.18 grain H&N sport pellet. Uh, and that translates into 9.5 foot pounds of muzzle energy. Um, this gun comes in at um, 38.5 inches long and it weighs a mere 6.1 pounds. So you've got decent power. It's not a powerhouse, but it's decent power. You could even hunt with this thing if you keep your shots real close and you uh, practice headshots. Uh, you could even hunt with this at close range. Um, at 6.1 pounds, carrying this all day long would be a joy in the woods, and it's certainly a joy to handle at the bench uh, where I shoot mostly. And bake a, uh, just I can't say enough good things about the HW Model 30S or the Beeman R7 rifle. So if you're looking for a fun gun, not necessarily a powerhouse, consider the HW Model 30. Just a great, great little rifle. <clears throat> if, on the other hand, you want not just quality, but you want the gun to look as, as good as it shoots and as good as it handles, now you're going to step up to the HW Model 35 E in this case. Now, if you just want all the features, of this, not the, the uh, cosmetic features, but all of the uh, um, output specs and so forth, um, then you can just stick with the HW Model 35. The E version sports a few um, uh, add-ons that make it just a wonderful gun um, and just an elegant, elegant rifle. It's got a walnut stock for one, which is very, very nice. It's got checkering forward uh, in the forehand as well as on the grip. Uh, a lot of these guns do. In fact, um, all but one of them does. But uh, at any rate, that's still a nice feature. It's got a white line spacer at the grip cap, which is also a unique feature for your viral line of rifles. And it's also got a white line spacer at the, uh, the butt pad. That's a little bit unorthodox. It is a brake barrel, but it's not a barrel detent where you can hit this thing all you want. It's not going to open the gun. You have to take this little lever at the forward end of the, um, the breech here and pull it forward and that allows you to open the barrel from there you'll cock it and when you close it it's effortless it's just this thing locks up like a bank ball it's just uh, everything about this gun screams quality they've been making it for over 50 years so that tells you something right there what a great gun look at this one if what you want is something to be you can be proud to own and show off to your friends something you can carry in the woods and just 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 I don't know, ogle over your beautiful rifle because that's what I do. <laughs> HW Model 35E. Take a closer look and I'll give you some specs. So the HW Model 35E in this case is in 177 caliber. It's rated at the factory at 754 feet per second 
I put a Vortec 12 foot pound kit in this gun. I'm gaining 834 feet per second with a JSB 8.44 grain pellet, and that means about 13 foot pounds of muzzle energy. So, certainly adequate for hunting out to 50 yards on small game if you can make those shots out that far. Um, comes in at 43.7 inches long, so it's quite a long rifle. Um, 8.37 pounds, so it's no lightweight either. Keep those in mind if you're looking for a hunting gun because that's going to make a difference at the end of the day. <laughs> All right, so anyway, next up is the HW Model 50S. Now, this is the gun I recommend to most of the uh, small game hunters out there that are looking for the ideal compromise between power and weight. This gun it is just the gun that I would grab if I was going to go out and, and hunt for the day. This is the gun that's going to give you um, a nice carrying weight, a nice balance, but plenty of power to do the job. This is the one I grab when I've got a squirrel raiding my bird feeders and so forth. Uh, it's always a one-shot headshot with this thing. Um, it just this is the gun you want if you're going to be a hunter and you're going to be out in the woods for a long time carrying your gun for a long time. Take a closer look, I'll give you the specs. So the HW Model 50S, and this one is in 22 caliber. Factory rates it at 574 feet per second. I put a high output Vortec kit in this gun. I'm getting 643 feet per second with an H and N field target trophy at 14.66 grains. That translates into 13.5 foot pounds of muzzle energy. Uh, comes in at 40.5 inches long, which is a nice length. It's not too long. It's easy to handle in the woods, and it weighs in at 6.8 pounds. That is a dream as far as spring piston air guns go. Um, that's right in the ballpark that I would recommend. If you can get the power you need and a weight like that, you've got a good hunting rifle. All right, so the next gun up here is the HW Model 95. Now this gun's very similar to the HW Model 50S as far as the specs go, as far as the size goes, uh, but it is a little bit more powerful. So if you need a little more power uh, and you want a gun that's still in, the, in a good weight range and it's still uh, comfortable shoulder, just again, high high quality rifle for hunting. Um, this is another good one to consider. Uh, this one's in 22 caliber. I'll give you some specs. Have a good look at this one. So the HW model 95 and 22 caliber is factory rated at 755 feet per second. Uh, I have not installed a kit in this gun. I've got plans to do that, but at this point I haven't done it. So we're going to take their word for it and uh, we'll go by what I could find on the internet and tell you that it's about 14.7 foot pounds. That's a powerful gun for hunting. So keep that in mind. If you need that extra power and you don't mind a little extra weight, the HW model 95 is a good gun to consider. It comes in at 42.3 inches long so not too too long and it weighs 7.49 pounds so seven and a half pounds uh, so still not too bad and uh, a, a nice powerful gun for the field okay next up this gun is more designed to your bench shooter or your field target shooter this is the hw model 97k um, this gun it will blow your mind as far as the accuracy goes. It's uh, from shot to shot to shot. This thing never ceases to amaze me. Uh, it's, uh, it's winning field target matches all over the place. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful rifle. It's a fixed barrel with an under lever cocking system, uh, which is one of the reasons for its, um, its, for its accuracy. That barrel never moves, so it's, uh, there's no chance that it's not going to lock up exactly the same from shot to shot to shot. Uh, the gun is just a fantastic gun, uh, but it's heavy, uh, and it's, uh, it's uh, heavy and it's expensive. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But if you're in, in the market for a quality, quality gun, and you're more interested in, in shooting precision, accurate shots then the HW model 97 is definitely something to consider once you have a good look at that gun I'll give you some specs on it so the HW model 97 K this one's in 22 caliber it's rated at 755 feet per second I put a high output vortex kit in here but I'm only getting 717 foot per second and uh, with a 14.66 green H&N field target trophy um, that still translates up to 18.3 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, so not too bad. <clears throat> gun comes in at 40.16 inches long, 
and weighs 8.82 pounds. Yes, that's 8.82 pounds. That is a heavy rifle. Uh, not one I would recommend for carrying in the woods very much. Uh, but still, the HW Model 97K, what a fantastic rifle. I'm going to double check that power output. I, I'm, I think I might have something wrong with those numbers. So I'm going to go back and check and, and I'll, I'll put that the correct number up on the screen for you if I was in error. If not, I'll let you know that too. Okay, so last up in the uh, in the lineup is the HW Model 80. Now, if power is what you're after, this is what you're after. This gun right here is a powerhouse. Um, <clears throat> it's rated uh, at what did they say? 967 feet per second in 177 caliber, um, and that is no lie. This gun will do that. Uh, that's one of the things about the HW products is their estimations as far as their power output go are pretty spot on and they're using lead pellets they're not using alloy, alloy pellets and playing games with the numbers they're giving you real field uh, real world numbers so that's kind of nice too I like that type of honesty in, in a, in a you know, producer at any rate uh, back to the HW model 80 this gun is heavy but that's what you pay for. If you want the ultimate in power, you're gonna have the ultimate in weight too. So in order to put that much power into a gun, you gotta make everything bigger. And that's what they did. This HW Model 80 is a big, big rifle. It's long and it's heavy and it's powerful as hell. So if that's what you want, if that's what you need, take a close look at this gun. I'll give you some spec. So the HW Model 80, uh, this one's in 177 caliber. A lot of guys would, would recommend it in 22 caliber. I would have purchased it in 22, but I really wanted the gun, and uh, 177 was all they had, so I bought it anyway. <laughs> now, I put a high output Vortec kit in this gun, and that kicked it up to 10, uh, 1039, 1039 feet per second with an H&N &M sport pellet at 8.18 grains, and that translates into 19.6 foot pounds of energy. Uh, the gun comes in at 45.27 inches that's a big long rifle and it weighs in at 8.82 pounds and that's a big heavy rifle so think about that if you're going to carry this gun for any length of time in the field i know it's got the power to do the job but do you want to carry that weight around um, so that's those are the things you got to consider when you choose the hw model 80 but again you can't go wrong with a viral product so whichever one you choose you're not going to be sorry i'm sure of it so that's my lineup. I don't have anything else I can show you today as far as a viral product. Uh, I just wanted to take some time and give you what some of what the options are from this company, this fantastic company that's been around for over 100 years. I want to thank you folks for stopping by the Pellets and Pistons and Airgun channel and to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already, to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and be all, by all means hit that bell if you want to be reminded of future videos. Thanks again folks. You have a great day.